So let's begin. We do have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Five of Pentacles. Might be an air sign. Um, who rejected us, right? Five of Pentacles. So they said no, thank you. Uh, in quite a um, difficult way, I would say. Two of Swords, and we think about it ever since, right? Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles. We don't know why. That's the energy of contemplation. This is the energy of being blindfolded. Why in the world? You know, it started all right and then it ended up in rejection, separation, isolation, feeling lonely. And the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is mainly Sagittarius energy and can be a Sagittarius, but I feel we still have passion for this person. Uh, for some of you, this is the answer from the universe saying, well, they were kind of a player. You, you, we know the uh, Knight of Wands is the player of the... Um, so yeah, right? And the Eight of Wands. Passion, playfulness, um, sensual communication, texts. Playful texts, by the way. And the Eight of Cups in reverse, right? Well, we don't read reversals with this one, but we know it's about emotional disconnection. If somebody came in, they were playful. It lasted probably quite short. And now we feel rejected and alone. And it's like, what in the world happened, right? And the Wheel of Fortune. Things will change. Things will change. Um, in your favor. That's the Wheel of Fortune when we receive it. It's your fortune coming your way, being shown to you by the universe. It has the energy of going with the flow as well. And here we have the Wheel of Fortune again. I love when we have confirmations. It's one of the reasons we get, like, because we want to uh, fill out energies, right? And we have the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it, this is kind of a comfort um, energy, just like the comfort food, right? If we are down, we know it's going um, to go up again and it's going to uh, feel beautiful. Whatever this is, is uh, fortune and luck and um, energy is going in your favor. It also, it's also the energy of destiny, you know, kind of the universe comforting that um, it was not much you could do about it, right? It was on your path, it was written, it had to be lived and it had to be lost, right? So, so let's look into Virgo past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And of course, Virgo, you take the side you resonate the most with and uh, only the messages you feel um, you resonate with. Nine of Pentacles. We are single probably at this time. We do have the devil. Yes, I know, right? Things will change, whatever toxic situation you are in. Um, good vibes are coming and the universe is saying, come on, right? Buckle up. That's the will of fortune. Buckle up. We are um, starting a new journey there. So, um, Virgo, what happened in the past? Three of Cups and the Eight of Wands. And you know how it feels. It feels like the energy of meeting someone at the gathering and becoming quite passionate about them. Uh, kind of right away it's a quick it's in a it feels like an environment of celebration where we became um eight of wands right sensual playful um attracted and public communication was very easy in some way and um it touched um a lot of um your buttons right and um it's interesting they they felt like a party right um that's the energy i'm picking up they felt like easy breezy type of energy and, um, and, um, and, you know, it was a celebration after celebration after celebration. But boy, look at them, uh, Virgo. Ten of swords, ten of wands, right? So they might have had luggage, something you are not aware of, but this is the energy of, in their aura of energy, the ultimate betrayal and the ultimate burden. Um, honestly, I don't feel it was you. Uh, if the connection ended, uh, because it is an ending, right? With the ten, ten of swords, ten of wands. Um, but if it feels more like luggage and somebody having like 
carrying from the past or baggage if you want however you want to um, but burdens and unfinished business and they were uh, ending a cycle in a painful way and um, you know on your um, on your side you had so much fun right meeting them and, and having fun with them um, but they were having this carrying this right so mutual energy is two of cups and the six of swords one fell in love one needed some time to think um, one had has uh, one was uh, completely genuine about right fitting the bond the body mind and soul bond um, while the other person needed just um, calm waters um, to heal the wounds of the past and it feels like um, Virgo like they were not ready not at all um, honestly right they were not at all ready for whatever because the cycle either finished in such a way that uh, they got all in pieces uh, or uh, finished the moment you met now where are we right now we do have the page of wands we are still attracted to this person that is still passion they might be a fire sign or simply the energy coming together is the energy of fire and the seven of wands so we are a little bit defensive, a little bit self-protective, a little bit of, yes, I have feelings for them. Yes, I have this, um, these emotions, but we are in self-protection mode, right? What about me? That's the energy I'm picking up. What about me? You know, I'm being cautious and I feel that this is where you are, right? And nine of pentacles, it has the energy of you focusing on your money, financial stability, independence, allowing changes allowing changes you know they've been fun but at the same time you know and we have limits and boundaries and that's exactly what you are putting right now and now we're with this person of yours six of cups and the five of wands they are still struggling they are not yet out of the painful cycle uh, but of course reminiscent about the past six of cups is the energy of longing for you is the energy of missing you is the energy of desire is the energy of a bond um, they uh, start feeling, but again, five of wands, right? Ten of wands, five of wands, a lot of struggles in so many ways, uh, painful struggles. Well, mutual energies between you and your person, we do have the four of swords and we do have the full. One is the energy of new beginnings, one is the energy of needing time and space, thinking about, planning, strategizing. And I feel more the full is your energy, like willing to start over and being open to and whatever the universe brings, I'm in. Um, or it can be the four of swords, but definitely we are not on the same page at this moment and one is struggling. One is struggling and it is in quest for some quiet time to figure out uh, the next steps. So Virgo, the outcome of this is a new offer we do have the king of pentacles with the ace of pentacles wanted or not you have someone coming your way and they might ask to take you out or for a coffee and we know ace of, Pen ace of pentacles is my coffee um, energy but also know we are in isolation so but what i'm trying to say we have new cycles and new offerings and we have you uh, being in your own power feeling strongly about a new cycle and um and kind of allowing this person some space while respecting your own space with this person. And on their side, uh, the outcome is the High Priest, um, which is Taurus, Taurus energy and the Justice Libra energy. And um, I, I, it looks like big legal struggles, uh, Virgo, the person you are dealing with. We know by excellence um, the Hierophant and Justice is about the separation, a divorce, uh, legal papers, um, contracts, and um, and going through hell. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Justice and the Hierophant is really disconnecting from a divorce, like really from hell, you know? So I don't know who's giving them that grief, um, but the outcome is, is this, while on your side, we start with a brand new beginning here and mutual energy is between the two of you the lovers gemini energy and the four of cups right this was a gift nobody was paying attention that's exactly the energy between the two of you 
the outcome um, definitely still having emotions for each other but I believe um, yeah the gift was not seen this connection had potential but I'm not sure right now someone is available uh, to see because they are going through hell over here for a moment I hope this is not you I really hope um, <clears throat> because one, one has this energy of no matter what I'm willing to start a new beginning I'm jumping and you know I'll figure it out as I go and we have this person someone on this side really struggling with legal um, stuff <clears throat> confusion their own struggles with their own decision making processes and and uh, and just pain simply put pain and um, burdens so uh, we know that is love but let's see what else um, let's ask for some guidance right should we manifest them back or we um, you know cut the cord and we send them back and the universe is saying we are focusing on love that is love for some of you it's a it's a strong validation that is still love between the two of you and intimacy right that is love and probably you still uh, meet this person you still have uh, intimate moments with them and we have reparenting yourself so now the message is clear right that is love and that is intimacy in this connection but we need to unlearn some patterns and we need to learn new ones we need to rethink uh, this is kind of like a restructuring of the connection right rethink based on what we know from the past and we do have slow down pause and allow things to unfold and bottom of the deck take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever so virgo you are not guided away from this person and i know you have an offer um i know uh, for some of you the outcome might be you making an offer to this person but boy they are struggling there I mean, their energy is uh, one that I wouldn't really engage with um, at this time because they have things to figure out. They have absolutely legal things, emotional things, uh, responsibilities, um, past hurt, uh, past relationships with hurt and figure out how they manage that. I mean, uh, you know, um, and honestly, Six of Cups is about kids and uh, with a Five of Wands, somebody's really fighting either to get the kids or have some form of fairness in, um, you know, um, custody and that type of energy there. Just saying. But there are emotions, uh, genuine emotions and intimacy and um, a chance. This connection has a chance. And it's interesting, you are asked to take a chance on love, right? So, but I really wanted to use your better judgment, uh, Virgo, because this one, at least on their side, it does look like a mess. So energies we need to put back into the flow. We do have surrender your fear of change. So the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health or a relationship. Or if you fear aging or death, repeat this affirmation, I have faith, all is well. We do have purpose. I know what I'm here to do, right? So a sense of purpose to this connection. Um, yeah. I kind of hear, you know, when um, this needs to be realigned or the connection can be you, can be the emotion that is a sense of uh, bringing a purpose to this connection and making it, um, you know, agreed or a form of consensus between you and your person. We do have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life and you have reparenting yourself and humor. So we need to have some more fun. We need to take things light and we do have slow down in judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And bottom of the deck we have respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. Um, so when it comes to your person and yourself, we need to put back 
um, into the flow some judgment, right? We are all equals. Um, I mean, right, uh, we are human beings before being um, any type of profession or uh, God knows what. And, um, and respect, humor, judgment, and respect. I love this in a sense of purpose, right? So, um, Virgo, I'm just saying, you might be divorcing this person and you might be ready to move on and they are going through hell over here. Um, and, um, but we have things going in your favor, right? On your side, you're good. And again, you take the side you resonate the most to it. Um, so, hey, Virgo, I really want you to use your better judgment. This is a tough reading, I know, and a tough energy since, and, um, um, you really need to pay attention with this one. And of course, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.